Hello and welcome to Mythcast episode number 6 with myself, your host, Clan Mythology's vocal terrorist, Jesse Vokter Rain. And we're here with another replay from Clan Mythology's favourite Terran, and that is Nathan. Now he is up against a Protoss here on Clan Y uh, by the name of Speed. I am assuming this is just a simple ladder game. But it should be a lot of fun. I've really enjoyed Nathan's games. It's nice to kind of get back into casting. I'll be doing two replays today for the YouTube channel. Uh, partly as a way of saying goodbye to this PC because tomorrow my brand new PC arrives. And it will be spiffing and glorious. But uh, also, they're all kind of gone. Now this is an interesting pathway for this SCV to take. Because of course Clontus Meyer has this section open. Where you can just kind of nip in here and straight away see... That path. So, with um, the SCV being passed this way, it will actually stop up against these rocks, which suggests to me that we got some sneaky shears going on, especially since there's no barracks in the main and there's a gas going down. So, could be Proxy Reaper, but uh, we'll have to wait and see. Now, the first barracks is started. Speed, however, will be scouting with a probe after the gateway is put down. Uh, only going for the one gas at the moment, so not a particularly aggressive opening at this point. He will, however, see that there is no barracks here. And if he's wise, he'll check over here and uh, see that there is no barracks in that main. He will also be able to see that one gas. Which should, rightly, tell him everything he needs to know. So at this point, he's not paying attention. He's just... Walked it over there. And now, now he starts paying attention. He goes, okay, there's a gas. Where's your barracks? Where is it? Where is she? Sorry, I love Batman. So, yeah. He knows what's going on now. He doesn't know exactly, of course, but he's got a pretty good idea. Simon Edix Court is going down. Should be making, um... Well, I say making initial zealot, but I mean, if it's going to be... Uh, proxy Reapers, then Zealots are pointless anyway. But he's doing the right thing. He's adding the second gas. And he's saving up this Chrono Boost. That Chrono Boost will be for Stalkers, and it will be for the Cybernetics Core. Now, we're seeing a reactor go down, and a factory here. Um, could be Hellion Drops. There's so many ways this could go. Hellion Drops would definitely be one for me. And now we've got this uh, SCV. Just making sure there's no in-base pylons. Always nice to do. And so far, Speed has been unable to find Nathan's hidden barracks and factory. Uh, he will start to path down this way, but it's quite a long way to go, so there is uh, a decent chance, at least, that Nathan will uh, have some units out and prepared for this. Oh, and in fact, he's not pathing in this direction, so that's really nice. And yeah, here comes the star, but with the reactor down, will we see Widow Mines? Will we see Hellions? It's going to be Hellions. It's going to be the standard... Um, Hellion drop opening into the back of the mineral line. Try and roast probes. Now, we should be seeing this chronobus go down, which we are on the gateway. Still only one gateway at this point. Um, should have made a second one uh, a fair while ago, in fact. Uh, you want to make that second gateway at about 19 food. This is quite a late one now, coming out at 26, when you're just going to be one basing. Uh, and we are seeing a proxy Stargate come in. From speed, so that's the plan here. Speed knows he's being proxied with some, or at least that something fishy is going on. So he says, "You know what? I'm gonna do the same to you." Now, interestingly, we are seeing the Hellions already start to move out across the map, um, which is something I didn't expect as much. I figured he'd hide them there until he had the medevac. What this is going to do is give Speed a look at them if he presses up into there. Oh, that was really close. You do not want Speed knowing that it's Hellions. You don't want him uh, to be aware of what's coming in. So this Stargate will be finishing up. And there will not be anything yet at home to defend with. This one barracks is coming in. But here comes the Medivax. Um, and uh, we'll be picking up two more Hellions. Of course, cannot fit all six in there. Needs to be careful about the pathing of these Hellions as well. Okay, that's nicely done. And when does Speed first see this? Speed sees it now. Uh, the problem is, his stalkers are out here. So this is allowing a lot of these Hellions to get in. All six Hellions will get up in here, and they will head straight for that mineral line. We will preemptively open this up. First two workers immediately killed. Not the best grouping there of the Hellions, but now it's starting to pay off. All of these probes are dying. We are up to 13 probes killed here. 14, even if he loses everything, 
completely worth it. Even going to uh, potentially kill a zealot here. But trying to focus down those workers. 15 workers in the end. Leaving them with just 8 probes. Oh my word. Now uh, we do have one oracle up here. Ready to move in. And nothing quite ready to defend it. So now would be the perfect time to attack with that. And he's going to start bringing his uh, Stalkers and Zealots across as well. He knows he needs to do an attack. And yes, the Oracle's coming in. The Oracle's beginning to do damage. We've got the first two Marines ready to pop. But let me tell you something. Two Marines are not good enough to kill an Oracle. Not when it still has energy left. But this is not a good usage of that Oracle. It's wasting energy. And uh, in a bunker like this is a great place. <clears throat> but still, we're going to see more and more SCVs go down. But this will eventually run out. Of energy. It's already up to 11 kills. So we're starting to even that count off. And uh, with the extra pressure from the front here. We could well see speed take Nathan down. There's only two marines in that bunker yet. Uh, he's trying to expand behind this. Whereas his opponent is doing nothing. But um, well. Gearing up for this final attack. He's got no mining left whatsoever. The Hellions have seen to that. So it's all coming down to this attack. We have two oracles, two sentries, four stalkers, and three zealots up against two marines right now in a bunker. So the oracle should be moving back at this point. Really, you want the stalkers to be attacking that. Good usage of the repair. Nice, finally, force was going down, but it's going to need more than that. Only uh, the one force field available there. So right now, speed is forced back, and the problem with this is we have widow mines now coming out from Nathan. So theoretically, could. Uh, wait for the next attack to come, then borrow the Widow Mines behind his opponent and force him back into them. That would go really, really well. Of course, the Oracle's still managing to do damage. Right now, he can't afford to take the Marines out of this bunker to fight them. Two Oracles will kill all four of these Marines. And um, that's a lot of damage being done on both sides. It's still very, very even in terms of that. But it's 10 SCVs versus just one probe. And that one probe is out on the map. That Protoss is not mining anymore. He can't go home. He has to attack. He has to break this front. That's all there is to it. And now there's going to be a Widow Mine there helping out as well. Borrowing uh, just behind that mineral line means it will clear those oracles. Oh, and it borrows just in time. One oracle goes immediately. And the second one's going to have to get out of there. It doesn't have the energy to fight this. Oh, it's already almost dead. And speed is very much dead at this point nothing in production whereas nathan has his second orbital command going up he's managing to start to finish his second rack this is it this is all or nothing all nathan has to do is keep this repaired good force fields there by speed but it's not enough it's being repaired fast enough speed no longer has the units to attack this and that is complete game over that is it. It does not matter that Speed is not GG'd yet because he's losing everything in this main base. He's got one probe. He doesn't even have the money to make more. Uh, so that is just not a deal at all. And now, with this being auto-repaired, there's just no way he can break it. Not in time. He doesn't have the units to add to this that he needs. He doesn't have the amount of force fields to break it. And all the time, we've got more SCVs coming out. More mules going down. And there is the GG as I nearly throw my mouse across the room. Incredible, incredible early pressure there by Nathan and a great hold back in his main. Fantastic play from the Mythology Terran there. So, congrats Nathan. Guys, don't forget if you want to find out more about the clan, go check out www.clan-myth.com as you can see in the bottom right of the screen here. Thanks very much for watching, and I'll be back with more Mythcast very shortly.